Rosie tries to bash Trump, not laughing when viewers see what she accidentally let slip. Rosie O'Donnell has proven herself to be a hater of President Donald Trump with her relentless and unintelligent attacks over the last year. Unfortunately for her, things most recently blew up in her face as she tried to bash the president just one more time, and let's just say she wasn't laughing when viewers saw what she accidentally let slip. The relationship between Rosie and Trump has been tenuous for quite some time. Although the two used to exchange insults on a regular basis. Things have changed in recent days. Trump seems to have written her off as a waste of time, which she is. However, that hasn't stopped Crazy Rosie from trying to stay relevant, and what better way than to appease the mindless drones of the left? Proving just that, she's once again taken to Twitter to bash Trump, but things went horribly wrong for her this time. As it turns out, Rosie decided that the best course of action was to attack the president about his weight. And well, you can probably guess what happened next. It started with a tweet from Rogue WH Senior Advisor, which is an obvious satire account that says in the description, Trump had a Carl's Jr. installed in the WH basement, and lists its website as dammitdonald.co. Everything about it screams fake, because it is obviously not a legitimate source for anyone with an ounce of common sense. The account recently tweeted that Trump now weighs 345 pounds after gaining almost 100 pounds since the election. Anyone with eyes realizes that this is false, not to mention the account is not a verified or reliable source, but rather known for slinging unfounded accusations. A 100-pound weight gain would be apparent to the naked eye and not need to be relayed via a tweet. But, that didn't stop Rosie from sharing some more fake news. It seems that Rosie's worst mistake was deciding to attach a simple three-word message meant to bash Trump, but she wasn't laughing just a few moments later. Making sure to add a bunch of irrelevant hashtags, Rosie simply wrote, 345 pounds, Trump is obese. Oh a bad for her, that was the kindest way people confronted her about the senseless and likely inaccurate remarks, to which he reports. As it turns out, Rosie accidentally left the opportunity for a little bashing about her own figure slip out with the word she used to attack Trump. You would think that it would be common sense not to mock someone for being fat when you have your own issues with weight. At the end of the day, Rosie's Twitter profile picture shows just how insecure she really is about her looks. We all know that's not what she looks like. That's the result of heavy makeup and or photo editing and filters to get a picture that flatters her face in the best possible way, and it's still rough with all that work. Take all that crap off her face, though, and you have something that more accurately resembles the swamp creature with it in mind. One has to wonder what is going through this idiot's head when she's posting something about someone else, seeing how much she is clearly uncomfortable about her own looks. Of course. This is liberalism in a nutshell and why so many people have come to believe that the ideology more accurately resembles a mental disorder than anything else. At the end of the day, Trump will probably never read what Rosie posted, but I think even he would be laughing if he did. It takes a special kind of stupid to try to attack someone only to knock themselves out in the process, and the worst part is, she didn't even realize what she was doing when she did it.